What's up everybody, this is Master Ian Gamer. Since Overwatch 2 launched back in October, it's had more than its fair share of missteps and shortcomings. And while I've talked about them pretty extensively in past videos of mine, there was one aspect of Overwatch 2 which I haven't really talked about much, but I thought was an interesting topic to touch on, and that's the copious amounts of missing content from this game. Now, I'm not talking about the PvE, that's less so missing and more so delayed for your dissatisfaction, I guess you could say. No, I'm talking specifically about content we've actually seen for the game, primarily cosmetic content, which we know exists, but isn't obtainable in the game itself. Now, there's two separate categories of missing content. The first are cosmetics, which are literally in the game, but evidently have no way of actually being unlocked. If you've spent any amount of time browsing through the different name cards and player icons available, you'll notice that there's a few of them which seem to be missing. Missing in the sense that they're there, you can see them as an option that's currently locked, but there's never actually been a way to unlock them, despite the fact that they seemingly correspond with existing skins and other event themes that we've already seen. Most notably, of course, are the name cards and player icons, which are tied to either this season's Greek mythology theme or last season's cyberpunk theme. Even with some of these name cards directly correlating to existing skins like Medusa obviously being a name card for the Medusa skin and Labyrinth almost certainly being a name card for the Minotaur skin, they were never available in any sort of bundle or other way of purchasing them alongside these skins themselves. And this is an issue which actually dates pretty far back. The earliest instance of us seeing this happen was at the end of November with the Cyber Devil Widowmaker skin, which had a bundle featuring the skin, a spray, and a weapon charm. And despite there being a player icon in the files of the game, which you can just see by going to your player icon customization, the player icon itself was not actually included in the shop's bundle and also had no other method by which to unlock it. It's honestly pretty suspicious. Now, I've seen a number of theories behind why this content is literally in the game, but is in no way obtainable. Some people say, oh, it's just a bug, you know, it's unintentional, there's some sort of glitch going on, which is possible, but I'm skeptical that a bug like this would exist for as long as it has. Basically, every new skin-associated name card or player icon that's released since this Widowmaker skin back in late November has been missing and unable to be unlocked, so I don't think Blizzard would let a bug like that exist for this long, especially when it's directly tied to their monetization and they could potentially incentivize people to spend more money by making them available, so yeah, I don't think it's a bug. Another theory I see being thrown around a lot is that this is all part of Blizzard's greedy monetization schemes. That they're intentionally releasing these cosmetics that are part of a sort of specific theme for a hero or a given season, but not including them with the bundles for those hero skins or in the battle pass or anything, deliberately so that they can come back and sell them again later and thus make even more money. Now, I think this theory has a bit more credit to it, but again, I don't think it's what's actually going on here. Despite how quick and easy it is to peg Blizzard as being greedy with every individual decision they make, I think it's also important to keep in mind that bundles themselves are designed to make more money. They're basically justifying a higher price when most of the content of the bundles isn't actually something players want. Therefore, for them to not include these name cards and player icons in the bundle and to try to sell them again later, thus lowering the price of the bundle itself because there's less content in the bundle, Blizzard would probably actually end up making less money, which is why I really don't think that's the reason these items have so far been unavailable. Which leads us then to my own third theory, which is that the absence of these name cards and player icons actually has to do with potential legal issues associated with said bundles. Now, as some of you may recall, back on November 1st, 2022, Blizzard announced that they were going to be changing up how bundles in Overwatch 2 actually worked. For the first month of Overwatch 2's existence, many cosmetics could only be obtained through purchasing an entire bundle. If you wanted an individual skin, but not the highlight intro or sprays associated with it, or maybe you wanted the spray or the highlight intro, but not the skin, well, you're out of luck because they were only available as part of a full bundle that you had to buy 
buy the entirety of in order to get any given one of those individual items. Well, unsurprisingly, legal concerns ended up popping up where certain countries have regulations in place that basically say, yeah, you can't do that because it's pretty scummy. And as these concerns started to be raised, it's pretty safe to say that Blizzard got a little scared and thus made it where each individual item in any given shop bundle could then be purchased individually. Okay, cool. What does that have to do with the missing stuff? Well, I don't think it's any coincidence that the missing in-game cosmetics just so happen to be cosmetics which are specifically applied to the player's profile as opposed to any individual hero's loadout. Simply put, name cards and player icons aren't visible or equipable via the hero gallery. Which means when it comes to purchasing things individually, there wouldn't really be an easy way to unlock these. Ever since Overwatch 1, player icons have been this sort of weird cosmetic where you could get them out of loot boxes, but you've never historically ever been able to purchase individual player icons. You could purchase sprays, emotes, highlight intros, skins, all you wanted through the hero gallery, but because the player icons were specifically applied to a player's profile, there was just never the place to buy them directly. Admittedly, this has always been kind of strange and I've never really understood why Blizzard handled it this way, but this same sort of system System where you couldn't get player icons in the hero gallery carried over into Overwatch 2, and thus I suspect the reason that name cards and player icons have ceased to be a part of these individual hero bundles is because Blizzard doesn't have the proper structure in the game itself to be able to sell these individually. They can easily just sell a skin, highlight intro, or spray through the hero gallery, just as it was in Overwatch 1, but the profile customization tab doesn't have this same sort of integration. It wasn't designed for players to be able to purchase things through this particular screen, and while it may seem simple to just add a buy button to this page, that has to go through its own fairly lengthy development process. You have to come up with the UI integration for it, you have to program it and test it and make sure it works, and I'm willing to bet from Blizzard's perspective, adding something like that just isn't worth the effort, at least not at the moment. And thus it's better for them to simply have cosmetics that cannot be sold than for them to dump a bunch of dev time into fixing and updating the profile customization page. Ah, uh, but Ian, I hear some of you clever observant viewers mention, some of the older name cards, such as the ones available during the Halloween event, are actually available to purchase directly in the shop for Overwatch coins. Why don't they just do this with all the new player icons and name cards that are clearly associated with existing skins and bundles? Well, honestly, I don't know. It is interesting to note though that the available name cards, which can actually be purchased in the shop itself, are technically listed as Season 1 cosmetics, as opposed to all the other permanently unavailable name cards being listed as shop items. So I'm assuming this has to do with some weird technical aspect on Blizzard's side of things. Or honestly, it might even be as simple as Blizzard just not wanting to clutter the shop interface with all these mediocre items like player icons and name cards when they could instead give that real estate space to bigger, shinier skins. I mean, could you imagine if every single cosmetic in the game was listed in the shop itself? That might seem intuitive on a conceptual level, but just think about all the hundreds upon hundreds of sprays, voice lines, and other things that would be cluttering up this front page. Blizzard probably wants to keep the shop fairly neat and clean so that people are more likely to buy those big ticket items and thus that's why they haven't stuck name cards and player icons in there, I guess. Now, hopefully, these items do become available at some point. I also wouldn't rule out the possibility of these just never becoming available ever, strictly because of technical business-based reasons, which would absolutely suck. Many of these look really, really cool, and I'd love to be able to sport some of these on my player profile, but if Blizzard just decides, eh, we don't want to waste time devising a way to actually sell these in-game, they could very easily just make them never available. Ever. Always just teasing us by being right there in the game, you can see them, you can inspect them, but you can't unlock them, because, 
Well, if we're being honest, Blizzard probably has a lot more important things to be working on. If they do end up becoming available one day though, there is also the question of whether people who previously purchased the bundle that clearly these name cards and player icons were supposed to be a part of will end up just automatically getting those items, or if players will then have to go back to whatever new shop they end up building in order to buy them there. For example, I purchased the recent Biohazard Ramatra skin bundle, which came with the Ramatra skin and a weapon charm, and clearly this name card was also supposed to be a part of that bundle, but it simply wasn't. Will I get this name card since I purchased the bundle once Blizzard decides to actually make these name cards and such available to unlock? Unfortunately, I don't think Blizzard's that generous. I think if these ever come back, it'll probably be in the form of a new updated bundle sometime six months to six years down the line from now. Whenever we next see these old season one, season two shop skins reappear, then there'll probably be a new updated bundle that features all the old bundle stuff plus the player icons and name cards cards, so they don't end up missing out on a single possible penny for their cosmetics. Keep in mind, that is all just a theory though, we don't know the real reason that these specific cosmetic items are in the game but not available, but based off of my understanding of how Blizzard works and what we've seen with the evidence of when they were available and then the ones later on that just never have been, I'm willing to bet it has to do with some stupid behind the scenes technical slash legal related issues, which at the end of the day doesn't ever everything always come down to that. Now, I did mention at the beginning of the video that I actually had two mysteries I was going to be talking about in today's video. The second is, once again, in-game cosmetic items, but these are ones which Blizzard vaguely sort of hinted at or showed off early on before the release of Overwatch 2, but since then have never actually made an appearance in-game. And yes, of course, I am talking about weapon inspects and hand emotes. These cosmetics are truly, truly mysterious. We saw them first shown off back during the summer of 2022 when Blizzard was building up hype for the release of the sequel, but since then, Blizzard has given no comment on if or when these are ever actually going to end up being added to the game, nor have they shown off any further footage of them being a thing. They were just present in a few clips during the June 16th Overwatch 2 showcase, and then we also got a more in-depth look at specifically in individual hero thumbs up, thumbs down, and other hand emotes via this video, which was posted on the official Overwatch Twitter account for approximately five minutes on June 16th, 2022, before it was taken down and has never been posted again. Yeah, that's right. I, by pure chance, happened to download this video before they took it down, and as far as I know, I may be the only person outside of Blizzard who has this footage, and... Well, I guess now you have it too. But in this clip, we can clearly see a number of different hand emotes being performed by different heroes, from thumbs up, thumbs down, okay, hat nods, all these cool little hand-based emotes that look like cool little things to feature in the game. We did actually see them a little bit in the June 16th event itself, but not nearly as in-depth as what we saw in this deleted Twitter video. I gotta say, the fact that Blizzard showed these off so close to the launch of Overwatch 2 being just a few months before the sequel released, only to then not have them in the sequel when it released, nor at any point after then, is really just bizarre. My guess is that given we know how much Blizzard was rushing in the final months leading up to Overwatch 2's release, they decided to ultimately cut these as a form of cosmetic content because they probably just didn't have time to make them work properly or to add enough of them to justify their existence or something along those lines. Because I can't really see any other reason why Blizzard would have blatantly shown them off just a few months before Overwatch 2 released, only to then go silent on them and not include them in the game. I wouldn't be surprised if we do end up seeing weapon inspects and hand emotes added later on, potentially even as early as in Season 3 for all we know. But it is curious to see Blizzard having openly shown off this type of content, only for them to never bring it up again. Maybe we'll see them added in Season 3? Maybe they'll never be added. Ever. It's a mystery, I suppose, and I guess we'll just have to wait and see whether these mystery hand emotes, weapon inspects, and the name cards and player icons ever actually end up becoming obtainable in-game. On that note, thank you all so much for watching this video. Definitely let me know your thoughts on the mysterious missing content of Overwatch 2 by dropping a comment down below. Were you really hoping to get any of those name cards or player icons which you can just straight up see in-game? Or maybe 
maybe you're itching to one day finally get those weapon inspects unlocked since for whatever reason people seem to really really like those. Anyways, thanks again for watching, be sure to subscribe, follow me on Twitter, hit up that bell icon and come join my Discord server to hang out and never miss any of my future Overwatch content, and special thanks to my YouTube channel members who help make these videos possible. If you'd like to join them to earn some cool rewards then just hit that join button down below, and otherwise this is Master EM Gamer signing off, and until next time, have a great day.